Hello, I'm John Bryant and I'm a veteran. I served for four years in the Royal Regiment of Scotland. It was the best four years of my life, so far anyway. My first night in Afghanistan, um, I was on the ground about four o'clock in the morning. I took over the Sanger um, just to look out onto the ground. Um, and we've got pieces of equipment called shumulis. Um, they're basically big lights that you can fire into the sky and it makes the, the ground visible for about two to three minutes. It's like the sun's out. Um, but instead of firing it into the sky, I accidentally fired it and it hit the roof in the Sanger. It started flying around the Sanger. Uh, so that was my first experience of Afghanistan. Um, I was 18 in Afghanistan and I was on the front line. Um, and to deal with it, we sort of just blanked all the, bad, the badness out and made it into positives. When we could have fun, we had fun. And when it was serious, it was serious. But we tried to make it as much, as much fun as we could out there. I'm extremely proud to be a veteran. I'm extremely proud that I was in the British Army and that I fought for the country and that I've been to Afghanistan. Um, it's something that I wanted to do since I was a kid and I achieved that goal. The other day, for example, I met a young man who was 21. He was in university studying law um, and I sat down and had coffee with him and he was interested to see what I had done since I turned 16 to I was 21 and the differences from going to university and having a nice luxury lifestyle to fighting in the front line or just being back at home in an army barracks is a completely different lifestyle. I feel as though I've matured a lot more than some friends I've got that's the same age or older. Um, and I'd put that down to the fact that I've probably seen and done things in Afghanistan, not just in Afghanistan, but also back home. I've been to parades down in Buckingham Palace, I've been in Edinburgh Castle, done the Queen's Colours, so I've done quite a lot that other people can't say they've done or have done. So yeah, it's marked me out as a, as a good person, I'd say. People have been to Falklands, World War II, World War I. They all knew why they were signing up to the forces, they knew that there was conflict. They didn't have to sign in to the forces, but they still made the decision and they still went out there and fought for the country. Yeah, so I would say that we are heroes. But um, and it's nice to see the public recognise that we, we, we are heroes, yeah.